Let's continue with our role of business analyst helping Sunset Graphics with this process. And here's what we know about Sunset Graphics purchase process. Uh, they research prices and product availability. They select the best price and availability combination and send a purchase order to the supplier. They receive the items from the supplier and record the purchase and accounts payable. And then they pay the supplier according to the credit terms. Taking a look at how that translates to an activity model, we have our start. Then we've got our event, the request price and availability, our place of a purchase order, the receipt of items, and then here we would record the purchase, send payment, and that would end our process for our activity model. We can further modify this model to show our relationship in pools being sunset and the supplier. Uh, those would be our different swim lanes here. And notice that we are also showing our message flows with our dashed arrows. So these are the messages that are going back and forth between the supplier and sunset. Sunset requests a price and availability. The supplier provides the prices and availability. Sunset places a purchase order, the supplier sends the item, and then Sunset pays the supplier. Actually, it looks like we've got two separate pools going on. The supplier is a pool all their own, and Sunset is a pool. And then within Sunset's pool, we separate into swim lanes. So our swim lanes here in Sunset pool is buyer receiving and accounts payable. So we can take our uh, same model here and actually move it from one swim lane to another depending on where the responsibility lies. You'll also notice that we did add in some extra complexity uh, to our model here. We've got a gateway so here, uh, we're going to say whether the items are okay or not. So if they're not, we're going to branch off and send back and then end our process. If they are, we'll place them in inventory. Okay. Then it looks like we've got an intermediary um, start and stop right here, which means that we're going to wait 30 days. We're just holding off the process um, to pay our supplier, uh, which is just an intermediary intermediary stop. We're going to pay our supplier and then we'll stop the process altogether. And just as we had for our sales and collection process, there are also business rules for purchase processing. So we've got some examples here. Uh, when it comes to purchases, when we place our order, the intention uh, so the ordered products are from reliable suppliers with the best available prices. We also have some authority limits here. The manager approves required, the manager approval is required for orders over 5,000. Our access controls, remember those limits of who can uh, use and change records in the system. So partners preparing purchase orders cannot modify product inventory records, receive items, or pay suppliers. And then our application controls ensure data integrity. So here we've got the system must provide a purchase order number control. Default values and range and limit checks we're going to have in there, which is going to create our audit trail. On the other side, we could be receiving the items. So our intention here is to record their receipt promptly and accurately. And the partner authority, the partner receiving the items must not be the same partner that ordered those items. Access control, those limits of who can change records in the system. Partners receiving items cannot modify purchase orders or inventory records. They cannot view purchase orders, quantity ordered information. And to ensure our data integrity, 
The system must only allow partners to enter the number of items received subject to the range and limit checks on quantities received. The date, the date of receipt defaults to the current date. Well, that kind of sums up Sunset Graphics and their purchase process, so thanks for joining me.